This is problem 3.41, which is a torsional system subjected to harmonic torque. We have a torsional system consists of a disc of mass moment of inertia of 10 kilograms meter square, a torsional damper of damping constant equals to 300 newton meters second over radians. The shaft is made out of steel of a diameter of 4 centimeters and a length of 1 meter and is fixed to an end as shown in the figure. We have a steady angular oscillation is observed when the harmonic torque of magnitude 1000 is applied. So the data given is that we have the mass moment of inertia, the constant of the damper, and the characteristics of the shaft that will allow us to calculate the equivalent constant of the spring and the shaft is made out of steel. They tell us that we have a moment applied to the system which is this one right here and we have a response. So we have a constant moment. The equation of motion that describes the behavior of this system will be the mass moment of inertia times the angular acceleration plus the constant of the damper, which is a rotational constant times the angular velocity plus the con equivalent constant of the spring times the angular displacement equals to the moment that we just said that is being applied. The response for this type of system, the response of the system, they tell us right here that has a amplitude and the system will response at the same frequency that the 16 is being excited with the moment and with a phase angle. We recall from the theory that when a constant force is applied, in this case, since we have a torsional system, it's a constant moment, that amplitude will be equivalent to the moment that is being applied divided by the equivalent constant of the spring times the magnification factor. And they tell us that this is 2 degrees. And 2 degrees is equivalent as 0 0.0349 radians. The definition of the magnification factor is 1 over square root of 1 minus r square square plus 2 zeta r square. where r is the frequency ratio and zeta is the damping coefficient. Therefore, we need to find the natural frequency and zeta in order to answer the first question, which is find the frequency applied. So therefore, let's find the characteristics of the system, meaning the natural frequency and the frequency ratio. Let's find the equivalent constant of the spring. We know that for a rotational shaft, this is pi g d to the fourth divided by 32 L. You can find that value in the tables of equivalent mass and equivalent constant of the springs. We know that for steel, the value for the shear modulus is 79.3 gigapascales. So if we put all the numbers here, we have the diameter divided by 32 and the length is 1 meter. We get that the equivalent constant for that shaft takes this value. Having the equivalent constant of the spring, we can calculate the natural frequency, which is defined as the constant of the spring divided by the mass. And the mass, in this case, is the mass moment of inertia. So we have to plug in the numbers. And we get as a natural frequency of the system 
44.624 radians over sec. And the last parameter that we need to calculate is the damping coefficient times 10, which gives me zeta equals to 0 0.336. Now we know that the static deflection due to the moment applied is equals to 1000, which this number is given, divided by the constant of the spring we just found, and this is equals to 0 0.0502 radians. That's the static deflection produced by the moment. Therefore, to find the frequency, we get the following equation. 0 0.0502 times the magnification factor is equals to 0 0.0349 radians. Now we know the expression for the magnification factor is equals to 0 0.0349. So I'm going to square both sides of the equation. So therefore the square root cancels out. I would like to solve for R and I get a quadratic equation. Minus r squared squared plus 2 zeta r squared minus 0 0.0502 squared divided by 0 0.0349 squared equals to 0. That leads to r to the fourth minus 1.54 a three r square minus one point zero six six one fourteen zero. I will solve for r square, and I get two solutions. R square equals to two zero six four seven, and r square equals to negative zero point five one six three. Obviously, the second equation do not have any solution, and I get this solution. This is r equals to 1.4369. Now, since we can relate r with omega and omega n, and we do know omega n, so r is equals to omega over omega n, therefore omega is equals to r omega n. We know omega n from here, Therefore, our omega that we are looking for will be equals to 1.4369 times omega n, which is 44.64. And we get that omega is equals to 64.15 radians over sec. And that's the solution we were looking for. This represents part A and part B is the maximum torque transmitted to the foundation and for that we will use the formula for the transmissibility factor. We recall that the transmissibility factor is defined as the square root of 1 plus 2 zeta r square 1 minus r square square 2 zeta R squared. We already know R and we already know Zeta. With those two factors we get the transmissibility factor because we just plug in the numbers and that gives me a value of 0 0.96709. And we know that the moment is equal to 1,000 newton meters. Therefore, we get that the, the moment transmitted to the foundation is 96707 newton meters. And this represents part B, 
of the problem, which is this one right here. And with that, we finish the solution of this problem.